Writing Ionic Formulas After watching this lecture, you will easily learn three important topics. I will teach you the basic concept of writing ionic formulas, writing ionic formulas with transition elements, and lastly, advanced concept of writing ionic formulas with polyatomic ions. Firstly, let me teach you the basic concept of writing ionic formulas. We know that, according to Mendeleev's periodic table, there are eight groups. The oxidation state of group 1 elements is positive 1. The oxidation state of group 2 elements is positive 2. The oxidation state of group 3 elements starts from positive 1 and goes up to positive 7. In case of non-metals, V starts from opposite side. The oxidation state of group 7 elements is negative 1. The oxidation state of group 6 elements is negative 2. The oxidation state of group 5 elements is negative 3. And remember that we do not play with the elements of group 4 elements. Now let me write the chemical formulas of these ionic compounds. We know that sodium is present in first group. The oxidation state of group first elements is positive 1. Secondly, chlorine is present in group 7 elements and the oxidation state of group 7 elements is negative 1. Now listen carefully. I cross their respective charges. Let me repeat it. I cross their respective charges. I mean, I write here 1 and I also write here 1. So I get sodium 1 chlorine 1. Remember that we do not write 1 as a subscript in any chemical formula. Let me repeat it. We do not write 1 as a subscript in any chemical formula. So I get sodium chloride. Secondly, we know that magnesium is present in second group and the oxidation state of second group is positive too. While bromine is present in group 7 elements and the oxidation state of group 7 elements is negative 1. So I cross their respective charge. I get MgBr2. So the chemical formula of magnesium bromide is MgBr2. Thirdly, we know that potassium is present in group 1 element and the oxidation state of group 1 elements is positive 1. This oxide means oxygen and we know that oxygen is present in group 6 elements and the oxidation state of group 6 elements is negative 2. I cross their respective charge. I get potassium oxide. So the chemical formula of potassium oxide is K2O. In case of calcium iodide, we know that calcium is present in group second elements and the oxidation state of group second elements is positive too. While iodine is present in group seven elements and its oxidation state is negative one, I cross the respective charge. I get CaI2. So this is the chemical formula of calcium iodide. Lastly, in case of lithium sulfide, lithium is present in group 1 elements and its oxidation state is positive 1. While sulfur is present in group 6 elements and its oxidation state is negative 2. I cross their respective charges. I get lithium 2 sulfur. So this is the chemical formula of lithium sulfide. Thus remember that, using this simple trick, we can easily write the chemical formulas of ionic compounds. Now let me teach you writing ionic formulas with transition elements. Consider these ionic compounds. Remember that, writing ionic formulas with transition elements is super easy. I mean, this iron 3 means that the oxidation state of iron in this compound is positive 3. So I write here iron positive 3. While we know that bromine is present in 7 group elements and its oxidation state is negative 1. So I cross the respective charges. I get iron bromine 2. So this is the chemical formula of iron bromide. Secondly, this 3 with aluminium means that the oxidation state of aluminium in this compound is positive 3. While we already know that oxygen is present in group 6 elements and its oxidation state is negative 2. 
I cross their respective charge, I get aluminium 2 oxygen 3. So this is the chemical formula of aluminium oxide. In case of copper 1 chloride, the oxidation state of copper is positive 1 and that of chlorine is negative 1. So I get copper chloride. This is the chemical formula of copper chloride. Lastly, in case of zinc 2 oxide, this too means that the oxidation state of zinc is positive 2. Also we know that the oxidation state of oxygen is negative 2. I cross the respective charge, I get zinc 2 oxygen 2. Remember that if the subscripts are same, like 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, etc., we always cross them. So I get zinc oxide. This is the chemical formula of zinc 2 oxide. Thus by this way, we can easily write the chemical formulas of ionic compounds with transition elements. Now let me teach you writing ionic formulas with polyatomic ions. For example, consider hydroxide ion which has negative 1 charge. We all know that there is 1 oxygen and 1 hydrogen in this hydroxide ion. Now consider these ionic compounds. We know that potassium is present in group 1 elements and its oxidation state is positive 1. Secondly, the charge on hydroxide ion is negative 1. I cross the respective charge, I get potassium hydroxide. Secondly, we know that calcium is present in second group and its oxidation state is positive 2. While the charge on hydroxide ion is negative 1, I cross the respective charge. Remember that when I write 2 here as a subscript, I write this 2 with both oxygen and hydrogen. That's why I am putting brackets here. So I get calcium hydroxide. Thirdly, in case of iron hydroxide, this 3 with iron means that the oxidation state of iron is positive 3 in this compound. While we already know that the charge on hydroxide ion is negative 1, I cross their respective charge, I get iron hydroxide. So using this simple method, we can easily write the chemical formulas of ionic compounds with polyatomic ions. Now let me teach you one medium level concept of polyatomic ions like dichromate and permanganate. If I ask you, write the chemical formulas of these ionic compounds, can you write it? Well, it is super easy. Here, we know that potassium is present in group 1 elements and its oxidation state is positive 1. Also, we know that the charge on dichromate ion is negative 2. I cross the respective charge, I get potassium dichromate. So, this is the chemical formula of potassium dichromate. Secondly, in case of potassium permanganate, we already know that potassium is present in group 1 elements and its oxidation state is positive 1. While the charge on permanganate ion is negative 1, I cross the respective charge, I get KMnO4, which is the chemical formula of potassium permanganate. So using this simple trick, we can write the chemical formulas of the ionic compounds with polyatomic ions. Now let me teach you advanced way of writing chemical formulas of ionic compounds. Firstly, I write no sir present. Then I write minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3. Here, N stands for nitrogen, S stands for sulfur, P stands for phosphorus. Now I write N, O, N, O and N. Then I write S, O, S, O and S. Lastly, I write P, O, P, O and P. Now listen carefully. This is the first row. This is the second row and this is the third row. Remember that I always start naming from the second row. So I write here ITE. In case of first row, I write ATE. In case of third row, I write IDE. Secondly, 
I also start numbering from the second row. Let me repeat it. I also start numbering from the second row. I write 2 and then I write 3 3. In case of first row, I start from 3 and then I write 4 and 4. So remember that I start numbering and naming from the second row. I write 2 and then 3 3. While in case of first row, I write 3 and then 4 4. Now according to these effects, I write nitrite, nitrate and lastly nitride. Secondly, I write sulfite, sulfate and sulfide. Thirdly, I write phosphite, phosphate and phosphide. Lastly, I use these numbers to put charges on each family. Also remember that AT has one more oxygen than IT while ID is simply for single ion. Now consider these ionic compounds and write their chemical formulas. Well, in case of sodium nitrate, we know that the charge on sodium is positive 1 and the charge on nitrate is negative 1. I cross their respective charges, I get sodium nitrate. Secondly, calcium is present in second group and its oxidation state is positive 2. In case of phosphite, the charge on the ion is negative 3. I cross their respective charges, I get calcium phosphite. Thirdly, in case of potassium sulfate, we know that potassium is present in first group and its oxidation state is positive 1. We already know that the charge on sulfate ion is negative 2. So I cross their respective charges, I get potassium sulfate. In case of iron 3 nitrite, we know that the oxidation state of iron in this compound is positive 3 and the charge on nitrite ion is negative 1. I cross their respective charges, I write iron nitrite. In case of zinc 2 sulfide, the oxidation state of zinc is positive 2 in this compound. We already know that the charge on sulfite ion is negative 2. I cross their respective charges, I get zinc sulfide. So using this simple trick, we can easily write the chemical formulas of ionic compounds with polyatomic ions. Now let me teach you one another advanced concept of writing chemical formulas of ionic compounds with polyatomic ions. I write CLO four times and lastly I write one chlorine ion. Now I number them 4, 3, 2, 1. We have already learned in the previous slide that we always start naming and numbering from the second row. So I write here ITE. Here one more oxygen is present. I write ATE. For this single chlorine I write IDE. Now what about these two ions? Well, I write here per and I write here hypo. This ion is above ATE, so I also write here 1 ATE. While this ion is below ITE, so I write here ITE. Finally, I name them all. I start naming from the second row. I write chloride and this is hypochlorite. This is chlorate and this is perchlorate. And lastly, this is chloride. Remember that these all polyatomic ions carry negative 1 charge. Now consider these ionic compounds and if I ask you, write their respective chemical formulas. Can you write them? Well, in case of sodium chlorate, we know that sodium is present in first group elements and its oxidation state is positive 1. While this chlorate ion carries negative 1 charge, I cross the respective charge and I write sodium chlorate. So this is the chemical formula of sodium chlorate. In case of magnesium chloride, I write magnesium and its oxidation state is positive 2. We already know that the chloride ion is ClO2 and it carries negative 1 charge. I cross their charge and I write magnesium chloride. 
So this is the chemical formula of magnesium chloride. In case of iron 2 hypochlorite, I write iron and its oxidation state is positive 2. We already know that hypochlorite is ClO and it carries negative 1 charge. I cross their respective charge. I get iron 2 hypochlorite. Lastly, in case of potassium perchlorate, I write potassium and its oxidation state is positive 1. We already know that the perchloride is ClO4 and it carries negative 1 charge. I cross their respective charge. I get potassium perchlorate. So this is the chemical formula of potassium perchlorate. Therefore, using this simple trick, we can easily write the chemical formulas of ionic compounds.